Hello, this is Richard with STG Robotics. Today we're going to show you all the parts and assembling of our ankle, foot, and shin area. Uh, you're watching right now all the 3D printed parts that I require for uh, one leg right now. Uh, eventually I'll work on the second leg. These are all the pieces that we're going to need. There's the foot, uh, the housings for our gearbox, and I'll show you shortly um, a semi-assembled uh, gearbox. Uh, it's a 50 to 1 uh, reduction gearbox. Um, it's got a uh, 2 to 1 reduction then to uh, two planetary 50 to 1. Uh, here we have the planetaries that are doubled uh, using bearings for both of the units. It allows us to uh, load balance the torque on the output side. Uh, we're also using um, bearings for the drive shaft. Here is really how to assemble the planetary, which is just three uh, planet uh, gears with one sun gear. That's stage one. Stage two is the same thing with three uh, planets and the, and the drive shaft out. Um, that's just my spacer to hold all of this together and that'll go inside the uh, ring gear. Um, so that's how this is this is assembled. Um, here's our drive shaft. I'm using double uh, bearings. Double bearings allow us to stabilize the shaft from wobbling uh, left and right or back and you know back and forth kind of thing. Uh, so basically that's it. That's the uh, gearbox that I've assembled. The goal is to make this even smaller um, and to continue in improving uh, the quality of the gears using different materials. Right now I'm using nylon for all the gears inside, all the housing, all the drive shaft. Uh, the outside is ABS. I wanted some flexibility to be able to sand if I needed to reduce a little bit of space for it. And I'm going to fast forward uh, this piece for you. Uh, no need to show you how to uh, bolt things together. Um, we have a uh, a cover that will hold the drive shaft uh, down with the bearings in place. Uh, these are uh, 4 millimeter by 20 millimeter uh, self-tapping screws that will hold everything together. Uh, didn't want to put bolts inside. Uh, I can. I've got another design that's got actual uh, little screws and bolts. Uh, those are all embedded internally. Um, here's our cover on the outside to uh, that holds the outside drive shaft with its bearings. And I'm going to zip through this really quickly for you. And we're going to move along on this project. Uh, show you next is the uh, the foot the assembling of using this gearbox that I've printed and already pre-assembled. I've got a little housing temporary. I'm going to show you uh, our test rig. Eventually on um, the next video I will demonstrate to you um, more of the electronics. So right now this is just all the 3D printed parts assembled. I have tested this gearbox already. I've run it for uh, four weeks straight uh, very little uh, gear damage with it so the drive shaft I put the original drive shaft back into it again it's all nylon which makes it nice and strong uh, I eventually will try to go to a uh, carbon nylon and here we have the uh, actual gearbox that we just assembled previously uh, I build a little housing for it there's the foot that I'm using. I picked this up with uh, open source on a site. Um, I built a um, just a stand for it where the box will go. This is just right now um, three degrees of freedom on this foot and this is really just for testing purposes so I could get all the electronics assembled. I could continue testing uh, working with the positioning of 
the ankle, the rotation, the knee, the hip area. That's why I'm only just doing uh, three degrees of freedom. And I'm going to zip through uh, screwing this for you. A little ma movie magic, uh, scrolling that forward. Uh, you don't really care about screws. Uh, we're going to put another flange on the outside. The drive shaft is an octagon shape. Um, because this is all plastic, need it somehow to hold it tighter. Um, so there's the flange, we're going to screw that together. And I'm going to just test the rotation of the gearbox. I'm looking for some screws. I actually didn't have plan for those, um, but I'm going to just screw one in right now and go for That's also a 4 millimeter by 20 millimeter fully threaded. Uh, self-tapping. I'm using a lot. I, I like to use a lot of self-tapping on the plastic, even though this is a uh, one-time usage. Um, once it's in, it's in. You really want to be taking it in and out. So that's why I've, I've created this test rig. So once I assemble the real leg, it's going to be a lot smaller in diameter. Um, you're going to see. I'm going to show you the actual shin itself. It's really just square. Um, this is prototyped based on a, a six foot person. That's the goal is to build a six foot robot. And it's 50 to 1 reduction, so I could get uh, a very high torque on all the three uh, degrees of freedom. So that's the purpose behind it. I've got a, a couple motors, and that's the reason behind the large outer uh, I guess skeleton allows me to bring in different motors mount them on uh, here's the actual shin itself uh, it's just a simple square rig uh, bolted down right now uh, on here also self tapping screws um, I piloted some holes on the ankle housing and that's how we're going to uh, hold this temporarily. It's held before really well. I'm going to fast forward all the screwing stuff. You really don't care about seeing this. I know you want me to get into all the electronics and that's really going to be on probably the third or fourth video. I'm actually building all the cable harness for it so it makes my life a little bit simpler. Uh, so there you see it's all assembled. Here's my shin, the gears, uh, the knee goes up there. Sorry about that, got cut off. Um, here is the uh, thigh. Uh, I'm going to tilt this over a little bit so you could actually see how it all is going to look like. And it's proper uh, spacing for a six foot two person. So you're going to see that if you measure from the ankle to the knee, the knee to the hip joint, um, all these things are proportionally spaced correctly based on a six point. 6.2 person. Um, here's just the housing of the gearbox so you understand how I assembled and into the um, gear itself. Uh, I'm going to bring that down a little bit here so we can show you. That's going to fit right in there for the knee. And this housing is going to hold that ankle uh, gearbox to the thigh area. Uh, I'm going to assemble those on the next video. I'll have them already pre-assembled for you. I'm just going to mount it all together so I can uh, show you that it's all one large rig. Um, soon, uh, try to get all the electronics in there for you. The motors mount it uh, so I could get some movement for you. And hopefully you'll enjoy uh, watching uh, the knee rotation and the leg rotation. Um, Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please uh, subscribe.